Welcome to the Racecan Alpha Plus training video on positioning for acquiring panoramic images. It is important to familiarize yourself with the various parts of the system. Included are, the rotating unit, touch screen, easy positioning items, such as bite stick, chin rest, temple supports and hand grips. Finally, the exposure trigger. The touch screen selections include laser alignment lights button, up and down buttons, and the reset button. Set up the acquisition from within your imaging software. The first you see is patient information, and simply click OK. And, you will notice the machine is initializing. So the machine was not reset to a home position prior to going into this interface, the machine will initialize itself for you. So you don't need to click reset after the previous acquisition. What is in this interface with options are patient type, from a child setting to small, medium, or a large adult. And, you will notice the default to the medium adult patient once you came into the interface. If these preset sizes are not adequate for you, you can change them use the manual adjustments with KV and milliamp settings. The middle section of the window is protocol options. The default is standard panoramic option and this video will take you for taking optimum panoramic image. The option to the right, gives the segmented panoramic images. By clicking the icon, you will have slightly different interface let you select or deselect the areas it actually has the image. So if you do not need the TMJ, click and gray that out, and the machine will still do the full rotation around the patient. But, it will only radiate the areas not selected. To the right, it is external bite wing option. Below the standard panoramic option, is a two-dimensional TMJ acquisition. What this lets you do is take one or two rotations around the patient. You can choose to do two rotations, it actually scan your patient's right joints open and close next to each other, and their left joints as well. Next option gives the two-dimensional sinus. To the right of that, is orthogonal panoramic option. And the orthogonal panoramic, it basically makes a slightly slower rotation around the patient's teeth and does not get all of the TMJ in the image. But, it does reduce some of the overlaps in the image. In the orange section, at the top, you can adjust the region of interests with the remote. Also, you can turn off and on the positioning lasers. Ready button has the ability to put the machine into a ready position and you can cancel out of this window you choose once you have a patient positioned using the positioning lasers and appropriate chin rests then click ready the machine will move into the ready position the led above the x-ray generator will turn from blue to green and once it is green that indicates when the user presses the exposure switch that led will change to yellow and begin to acquire the image Prepare the patient. Ask a patient to remove the glasses, denture, jewelry, hair clips and pins. Place the protective lead apron over the patient's shoulders. Press the up and down buttons to adjust the height of the chin rest. So it's slightly higher than the patient's chin, so that the patient will have to stretch up to place their chin on the chin rest. Excellent image quality such as the image displayed here, is a result of careful attention to positioning. Ask the patient to rest his or her chin on the chin rest. Patient should place upper and lower anterior teeth into the groove on the bite stick. For mid-sagittal placement, verify the patient's head is not tilted to one side. For horizontal placement, use lift column up and down buttons to bring the patient's frankfurt parallel to the laser. If desired, laser lights can be raised or lowered before making adjustments to the frankfurt, or occlusal plane. For canine placement, use the canine adjustment buttons to make the laser in the middle of upper canine. Carefully tight the head support, so that they gently, but firmly grip the patient's head. Ask the patient to maintain a firm grip on the hand grips. Ask the patient to step forward slightly. This position make them out of a balance and hanging onto the support handle. It forces them to stretch their neck as far as possible. This decreases the spinal shadow on the interior regions. 
Ask the patient to press their lips together and impress their tongue against the roof of the mouth. Closing their eyes will help them remain still. Move at least 7 feet away from the unit and protect yourself from radiation. Press and hold down the exposure button for the duration of the exposure. Note, for edentulous or partially edentulous patients, be sure to use the appropriate positioning device. For more information on proper positioning and usage of RaceCan Alpha Plus, please consult the positioning guide. Thank you for watching how to take panoramic images with RaceCan Alpha Plus.